Hello again, everybody. Harry Box for the Technical Trader, Thursday night. These are the charts of the day. And um, on the long side today, we had some action. The market was a, a big right at resistance. It's going to be interesting to see what it does tomorrow. But anyway, alphabetically, Amlin Pharmaceuticals, which at some point during the session today appeared to be breaking out of the coil. We set a swing trade target on it. I do believe that this could get up towards that 29, 30 range, maybe even as high as 33. But watch for this pennant to break out with a pop. We need some volume. ANW, uh, the Aegean Marine Petroleum Network, uh, these are people who do the fueling of the ocean going vessels, which have been very active of late. Uh, as you can see, the stock broke out of a beautiful head and shoulders bottom here, backed and filled and coiled for about the last five weeks. Today, jumping 49 cents or 7% as volume increased. Uh, looks like it could break out here and run. And my target at the top of the channel is up around nine and a half. Dunkin' Donuts. Well, after the secondary pushed the stock down over the last couple of weeks prior, you can see how it bounced around for a week and a half, two weeks, basing out. Hold the 50 period here and here for two days each. And then finally today popped through the lateral price resistance, which held it back for two and a half weeks. But it did back off, only closed up 49 cents. So we're going to need to see whether we can generate any volume and get up through the key resistance around 32, 35. If we do, look for 35 as the next target. Free? Well, Free Seas had a big day today. After this monster run in February and this uh, month and a half, two month falling wedge was broken the day before yesterday. It followed through yesterday and today exploded to new highs, up 61% or on nearly 5 million shares, which is monster volume for that stock. So we'll see if we get a follow through. If we do, we may very well see this at three or three and a half. Bakken Region Junior Oil Favorite. Kodiak oil and gas snapped back today. As you can see over the last, uh, the big run up earlier in the year, the end of last year and earlier this year, which took it from about three and a half up to over 10, more, tripling it, then resulted in the falling wedge, which broke out, pulled back, and then formed this long multi-month, three and a half month coil. Now, I put out a buy on it today because I feel like it may have bounced off key support, and we'll have a tight stop underneath here. But if it does work, and we get a follow through to the upside, Looking for a retest of the 10 and a half, three quarter zone. And a move through that could get us into the 13 range and perhaps as high as 15. KTCC, Keytronics, thinly traded stock was up $1.12 or 11.5%. And as you can see, broke out of a five week falling flag or channel here with a pop today. And this could be the breakout that we're looking for to send it off into the mid teens. That's my next target around 14, uh, 15, 16. MIPS, big pop today on news of a uh, possible sale of the company. The stock exploded. We traded that successfully today. Look where it did. This big falling two-month wedge was broken with abandoned. Big volume here. Now there is resistance about seven. I expect that may be tested as early as tomorrow. If it does get through my targets eight and a quarter and a half. NQ also with a beautiful uptrend recently. You can see that the down channel that was in play was broken with a thrust today, jumping $1.21 to 12.2%. 12 .2%. Volume was 620000 the best in about six or seven sessions, and I'm looking for a retest of the high, and then I move to 13, 13 and a half. Ren had a nice pop out of the coil two days ago, backed off, and then came out again yesterday, and exploded today, actually taking out the spike high at 680, reaching as high as 696 today, before closing at 686, up 69 cents or 11%. A whopping 25 million share traded today, and if we can get it up through this line here, I can see the stock trading as high as perhaps eight and a half short term. SBSA, well, we uh, this swing trade here appeared to begin a move yesterday, and today accelerated that move a little bit before backing off. It looked like it was going to really run at some point. Volume wasn't heavy enough, and it did back off, up only 3.4% today. But if this can get up through the seven and a quarter, 740 range, I think SBSA can have a huge move to at least 11, maybe higher. Titan, two big days for the stock. After yesterday's gap up and um, solid gain, the stock then fell, fell up through nicely today and took out the top of the channel. That's a big move, and we may it may lead to more upside in the 3840 range, although it is getting a little short term overbought. And, that, and then there's Velt, which appears to have broken this falling channel and moved right back up with a snapback dollar 18 or 10 percent move today on increasing volume the best in two weeks. If it gets through this moving average level, look for a test of 13 three quarters, maybe even 14 and a half. But my target is up around 16. And lastly, is Zoom, which had a 
huge day percentage-wise, jumping 42% on 1.6 million, which is also big volume for that stock. Biggest volume since December when it ran here. Notice when this stock spikes and start, tends to run for five or six days. Happened here and happened here. Are we going to get the same? Well, if it gets to $1.6570, we may very well see two and a half or even three, three and a quarter. And that's it for today. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll talk to you Monday.